Hello there ladies and gentlemen, it is HF Tank here and welcome to my very first ever YouTube video. So in this video we'll be covering an un unusual build I think would be the title, but it's this build is actually pretty common in high level play, not that I would know much about that. Alright, so this build that I'm doing is called the Heavy, it's based off of the Heavy from Team Fortress 2 or any heavy in any game basically does the same thing and well to start off with the base class you want is the N7 destroyer which came with the earth DLC and if we take a look at the powers here as you can see we've got devastator mode and basically I took everything into damage and yeah, um, rate of fire magazine size are both pretty heavy like things so go with you, the, in this section you can basically pick whichever one you want and missile launcher that gets rid of quite a bit of shields so that's not really much of what you're looking for and well devastator mode slows movement speed perfect for being a heavy and now we've got multi frag grenade since throwing one grenade is for puny man and the heavy well one grenade is obviously not enough so now we're launching five grenades and what you're gonna wanna do is increase the number of grenades launched increase grenade capacity or I guess this one would be viable too but yeah and increase damage and force okay these ones it's pretty obvious weapon damage power and force bonus you could go with headshot damage but I never really liked headshot damage because it required you to hit someone in the head a lot of times to actually be effective which isn't very really important with this class because this class basically just sprays lead downrange alright increase weapon damage as well That's predictable you don't need any weight capacity because you're not going to be using any powers besides devastator mode which you only have to use once okay now this should be pretty obvious increase health shield shield re recharge delay and health and shield bonus now if we took a look at my weapons you'll see that I'm using the typhoon 1 since I have not unlocked um, any better version of the typhoon yet and right now I'm using magazine upgrade and extended barrel because well it's more damage and you can spray it for longer so why not and it also goes well with um, how the typhoon naturally takes time to build up the shots so you want to waste as little time building up like well the typhoon takes time to build up firing speed so you want to waste as little time that building up firing speed and have the most time actually shooting so actually shooting at the optimum capacity so magazine upgrades a pretty good idea for that now if we take a look at my other weapon here we've got the claymore 10 and on that we have the high caliber barrel and the shredder mod now my reasoning behind picking these weapons was, well, a heavy normally has a really big machine gun, the Typhoon, is the heaviest assault rifle in the entire game, and then also the Claymore being the heaviest shotgun in the entire game, so it kind of goes well. Also, the Typhoon also has the largest possible magazine capacity in the entire game and this is made even better with the magazine upgrade another good thing about the typhoon is that it has a base damage penetration of 0 0.25 a base bullet penetration of 0 0.25 meters so it can go through guardian shields which is very useful against Cerberus as you can as you will see in the gameplay footage later okay now um, I think that about wraps it up for the weapons. Oh yeah, and by the way, alternatives for the weapons. If you don't have the Typhoon or the Claymore, Typhoon, uh, 
There's not really a real equivalent for it, but I guess the Revenant would kind of do since I think it's the closest that you could possibly get. The Claymore, if you haven't got that by now, um, try the Wraith. Or well, if you if you really new, I'm not. <laughs> then try the Katana, but I'm not sure why you would even have an N7 Destroyer if you were if you didn't even have a Claymore yet. Alright then, let's go to appearance, well, that's obviously whatever you want it to be. Equipment. Now this, I would normally go with um, a barrage upgrade simply because it's more weapon stability and extra thermal capacity, which is everything we wanted. Sometimes I'll go with the warfighter package because that increases my damage and max grenades, which is basically all I do. But uh, I still normally go with the barrage upgrade so let's put one of those in and armor piercing rounds used to be very overpowered I'm not sure if they still are with the typhoon and the, and plus the destroyer makes it even better and these you'll just absolutely wreck things so I'd recommend putting on armor piercing rounds as you can see I have like none left since I already used most of mine okay Weapon bonus, I am out of Assault Rifle Rail Amps, but pretty self-explanatory, he's an Assault Rifle Rail Amp. Or if you're out, put on a shotgun one if you have to. Now time for armor bonus. For this, I'd recommend going with Stabilization, or since, <laughs> since the Heavy is meant to be able to take a lot of damage, go with the Psychonic Modulator for those extra shields. Okay, now before we get into the gameplay, I would like to say that I am by no means good at this game. In fact, I'm pretty terrible. So please excuse all the terrible gameplay and flame me in the comments if you want to. <laughs> yeah, it's to the two people that might actually possibly watch this video. And. Oh, yeah, another thing to note in the gameplay, I'm actually using the Piranha 10 because, well. I I wanted to try out because I just got the Piranha 10 recently, so I wanted to try that one out in the gameplay. But it's nothing much. Yeah. Just in case you want to know the attachments, it's a smart choke and an and an extended barrel, not the shredder mod and the extended barrel like I have on the Claymore. And oh yeah, special bonus <laughs> if you want, you get to watch me open a premium Spectre pack. I guess since I just noticed that I have enough credits for one if the store ever loads. Alright. Premium Spectre Pack purchase. Let's see what we've got. F5 thermal clips. <gasps> oh hey, a Predator 6. Just what I always wanted. Oh, and that's not bad. Oh, and a new Cyclonic Modulator. More browns. Yeah. Uh, average. Because uh, after you unlock all the characters okay now we're in the game as you can see I started it up at wave 9 because well the first few waves are boring even if it is gold and well this is gold difficulty I'm playing with some pretty good people I think everyone here has above um, 5,000 and 7 rating besides me, so this game is kind of way out of my league. But the thing is, the two other people that had 5,000 and the two people that had 5,000 and 7 rating are playing some uh, alternative characters. One's a level 5 and 7 demolisher. The other one is a level 15 um, and 7 fury. So I don't end up last in this match, and. Our other teammate, he's an absolute monster. He's got 7,000 and over 7,000 and 7 rating, and he is currently playing as Turian Sentinel, just cleaning house with their M99 Saber, I believe. As you can see, I'm not. <laughs> I'm very terrible at this game. I'm instantly dead already. Luckily for me, my teammates aren't so much, and well, yeah. I wouldn't exactly say I get carried through this game, but I do suck pretty hard. Especially those phantoms. 
Now, using the Piranha Light Assault Shotgun to deal with these phantoms is a very good idea. Or in the case of the actual build, it's the Claymore. But in this gameplay, I'm using the Piranha. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I wanted to try it out. That was why. And, as you can see, this weapon, the Typhoon, can do insane damage. But you have to watch out because on gold, you will go down really quickly. Now, oh, <laughs> just about to get the revive there, but then died, and then we have to let our teammates revive. Now, the, the damage output of the Typhoon is so amazing. On most lower difficulties, you can uh, you can instantly kill one of the, the strongest unit with one mag of Typhoon ammo, especially with the upgrades. But in this case, as you can see, those atlases are a bit tankier than they normally would be, so it does take a bit more than one magazine to bring them down. I I like how I keep calling it a magazine, but in compliance with Mass Effect lore, it's actually a thermal clip. Uh, I'll try calling it thermal clip from now on. And a not so good usage of those grenades there just to clear out the smoke. I did get a, a few kills of that, I think, but still, they can be used more effectively. Like, in that close quarters situation, they should have been good, and I, I just screwed that one up because I aimed them wrong, but normally in that situation they would be amazing. As you can see I'm getting some covering fire down while my teammate gets revived. Still some amazing damage. This is this is the piranha. In close quarters it still does some pretty insane damage. Now back to the typhoon. Now this game wasn't exactly the most difficult in the world because, well, I had excellent teammates. But it is gold difficulty and, well, gold is never easy unless you're MLG pro, elite skills, hacksaws and whatnot. And I'd <laughs> like to add that I do not consider myself good at this game at all. Even though I already told you that, but just to clarify again, and even though I'll st there's still going to be people mad at me in the comments, if there even are any comments for this video, but there, there, there will be because of the giveaway that I'm gonna have at the end of the video, so... Yeah, stay, stay tuned until the end for that. So, for the Wave 10, as you can see, we had the uh, get, Recover Objects mi side mission kind of thing, and then... Now, this Turian Sentinel guy, he this guy is an absolute boss. You'll see here later when I get executed by a phantom and I start spectating him that this guy is topping the scores while while reviving like everyone. And that was a pretty big fail for me there. I tried to get the revive off but he got but he managed help. Now just watch the Atlas's health and our armor go down. Just look at that. Look at how fast that typhoon can take me down. And this is on gold. But note that for this round I'm using armor piercing ammo 3 and not the 4 that I showed you for the actual build video because I didn't want to use up all my 4s because I was down to 1. Look, <laughs> watch this part right here. Oh, nope, didn't revive him. Failed to do that and now dead. And he comes back to save my ass again. <laughs> it's like this guy's habit saving my ass. And there we go, I got executed. Now I go to spectate the Turian Sentinel. <laughs> yes, I know this video isn't meant to be about him, but he's kind of... He's just hes just so awesome, just look at him. Yeah, so if you're there, shout out to Stanislav Russia. You're amazing. Thank you for resing me like 50 times. <laughs> and resing the rest of the team like 50 times. And also helping complete the objective a lot. Look, there's another res. There's not really much I can commentate about this character because I'm not very familiar with the Turian Sentinel and how it works. But I'd imagine you just keep tech armor up and warp and overload. <laughs> and they'll just... Because I know the Turian Sentinel build is to just put points into everything. But I'm not exactly sure how you should allocate your points and whatnot. As you can see there, I'm just checking the... Marks and he is still on top. Well, so to speak. And 
I'm <laughs> absolutely owning the smoke. I'm just. You guys are probably bored shitless by now because, well, then again, you if <laughs> you guys were probably bored shitless at the start of this video, and you, well, all of you are probably just here for the giveaway. But still, stick around. The giveaway will be soon. After we watch this Turian killing everything, and <laughs> yay, trying to get YouTube views off not my gameplay. This is this is very good. This is real great right here. This is true quality content, spectating someone else <laughs> and commenting on how good they are. Oh, okay, now I'm back. Now I can actually talk, and it's time for extraction. Alright, since the game's nearly ended, I guess I'll get to the giveaway now, and since that's what everyone's here for. Okay, so I will be giving away one copy of the Mass Effect 3 Digital Deluxe Edition on the PC. So what you have to do to be eligible to win this giveaway is um, first off like the video, second off leave a comment, third off be subscribed. That's, a, that, that's it. Now mo uh, most of the bigger channels that do giveaways they barely ever even... They, they, how often have you won a, actually won a prize from one of those big channel giveaways? Not often so it, so with this channel, there's ba there's barely anyone here since this is my first video, and so if only one person leaves a comment and one person likes and subscribes and what and everything I just said, then that means that person is guaranteed to get the prize. Just think about that for a second. There's actually a very high chance of you winning the prize, so it's worth signing up for. And yeah. Oh yeah, and also I will be giving out these, uh, I will be giving out the Mass Effect 3 Digital Deluxe Edition on Origin, so you must own that. For those of you who don't know what Origin is, don't worry, it's completely free of charge. It's basically EA's version of Steam, and if you don't know what Steam is, whatever rock you've been living under, it's a digital distribution service for video games, I don't, for computer games. I, I think that was pretty self-explanatory. And as you can see at this stage, everyone is down, and I have to use a few cobras to save our asses, honestly, because, well, the thing is, never be afraid to use cobras on the last wave, because if you still have a few left, then might just as well if it means saving your team. Like, that atlas would probably have wrecked me if I didn't use that cobra just now. And as you can see there, just using the co a few more cobras, since, hey, why the hell not, I have like 400 of the damn things. <laughs> By 400, I mean 200, as you've seen at the start of the video. <laughs> eh, maths. Alright, since it's nearly the end of the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment for the giveaway, and dislike, and leave a negative comment if you didn't like the video. Sorry, my audio quality sucks. I can't really help it. I am using a headset mic. And... Yeah. And by dislike and hate comment, I mean constructive criticism, please. Hate never really helps. I mean, I'll read it nonetheless because, uh, hey, it's a, a comment, it's a comment, but, yeah. Alright, after that incredibly awkward stalled ending, I guess I'll see you all next time.